I would now like to invite Professor Dr. Hashim Kamali, the CEO of IAIS, to give his welcoming remarks. Professor Kamali taught Islamic law and jurisprudence at the International Islamic University of Malaysia between 1985 and 2004. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Professor Kamali. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished participants, Assalamu alaikum, good morning. Democratic transitions in the Muslim world. I think most of the preliminary comments about the objectives of this conference uh, have already been said. I would like to share some of my own comments, some preliminary remarks. First, I would like to welcome everyone uh, to IIS Malaysia from the level of preparation that has gone into this conference. I have seen some of the articles already prepared. And the fact that we have distinguished speakers, uh, it all bodes well for a fruitful and engaging uh, discussion on the subject of this conference. Uh, democracy has not, has not done well in the Muslim world. Uh, but even saying that one ought to not, uh, one ought to avoid sweeping generalizations. Some countries have evidently done better than others. Um, Arab countries tend to feature prominently in the picture, and that picture is not very positive. Prolonged dictatorship, lack of democratic institutions, failure of, or for the most part, of the Arab Spring have dampened uh, the democratic discourse in the Muslim world. The rule of person versus the rule of law is still a problem. The problem is perhaps not so much with the traditional Islam, which uh, has certain provide certain space through some of his ideas like Pledge of Allegiance, Bay'ah, Consultation, Shura, Reason, Disagreement, Ikhtilaf, Siyasa, even Ijma and Ijtihad. It is political Islam which has made perhaps democracy more problematic because it brings Islam and Sharia into the center of politics and government. Political Islam also started in 1967 when secular leaders lost legitimacy. The talk of Deen wa Dawla, religion in state, as in the writings of Maulana Maududi, Sayyid Qutb, and others. But how do you achieve a merger between these two, religion and state, is still not certain. The tension between Sharia, secularism, human rights added to the challenge. I think also Iraq war and other wars, Afghanistan and Libya, etc., also dampened uh, the discourse of democracy in the Muslim world and give rise again to the idea of Islamic State as we have seen. Partly due to lack of democratic institution, but also that Arab intellectual saw democracy as, a, as an idea rather than focusing on institutions and strengthening civil society. Uh, how do you curb the exercise of uh, coercive political power is still not really, and the blueprint is already not, uh, we have not really come to terms with, with the issues and challenges. And it is hoped that there is much, uh, there is an uh, anticipation that we will be engaging in some of these issues, but also, uh, recounting the challenges. One is also that it is a, a democracy seen as a foreign idea, came to a different set of culture and philosophy. Uh, 
And uh, then in the Muslim world, and even in the Western world, democracy, democracy corrupts from within. People are elected, and it is questionable whether they represent. The profile of democracy has also suffered, especially since 9-11, due to the way uh, that uh, the major powers have addressed issues of uh, climate change, uh, carbon emission, trade protectionism, and globalization. Also developments in Europe over multiculturalism, citizenship issues, and the way waves of migration, they have all presented us with challenges, new questions, and more questions. Um, the general disregard for people's rights and the democratic rights of the weaker nations at the international level has also affected the, 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 the kind of vibrancy of the democratic discourse that we have witnessed uh, in the Muslim world and also generally, perhaps. And finally, what is perhaps uh, required? Maybe to develop an Islamic version of democracy, a theoretical blueprint, and democratic institutions that also uh, resonate with the tradition, uh, the Islamic um, political theory. Uh, and also in the meantime, to consider development of an Islamic ethics of democracy. With these introductory preliminary remarks, some of which are my personal views, and perhaps uh, we will have more to hear, and I look forward to uh, a very fruitful conference and discussion. Assalamu alaikum.